a beautiful gray day in Las Vegas right now. I'm digging it. I like a little bit of weather. People are gonna be cranky, everything's wet. But this is the first real day of CES. The show floor is finally open, so well, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time out here. Uh, I'm gonna go run inside. Let's go check out some cool gear. We've got a lot of fun stuff to play with, so I'm glad you're along for the ride. So I like to start off my CES adventures in South Hall. A lot of smaller booths, smaller manufacturers, not the giant mega structures that you'll see from like Intel in the North Hall. But if you take a little time to dig through all of the different aisles and pathways, you can find some really cool tech, some really cool experimental stuff. And there are a lot of manufacturers that post here that I really like to check in, especially Audio Kit. I'll walk around, catch Audio Technica, Blue Microphones, and then Sennheiser actually had some really cool stuff to show off with the future of uh, spatial aware audio. They've been trying to break into this space, especially with all of the AR and VR happening in this. And now, how do you also properly broadcast that spatially captured audio? It's a really cool demo that I got to check out there. It was really interesting. And I got to play with a bunch of other really fun things. Robots have been a big deal on this show floor so far. Got to play with an underwater drone. Well, not really play with it. I got to like poke at it with my finger. But underwater drone, I did a video a while back with a woman who was really into ocean conservation with the Santa Monica Aquarium. That would be right up her alley. I'm going to have to definitely show that to her. And then just right behind me, the Razor booth. Absolutely hilarious. Just how much more security they have on their prototypes this year. Uh, especially after what happened last year. But checking out Project Linda, it absolutely looks like the cleanest implementation I've seen yet of the smartphone laptop hybrid project. Really exciting stuff there. Definitely a lot of potential. It's just, you know, it's Razor, so we don't know if it's ever really going to make it to market. And because this CES for me has been all about handheld, mobile, on the go, hashtag mojo, mobile journalism production, I had to take a stop by uh, DJI. The new Osmo Mobile 2 looks legit. It is beautifully smooth, expertly constructed. The, the demo units that I got to play with felt phenomenal, and that might be my next solution. That price point that they're coming in at, 130 bucks for a really smooth gimbal for your phone, absolutely incredible. Some, some awesome stuff there. I'm gonna break now because we're gonna go check out InWin, some really cool PC case design with the rest of the Newegg team. You'll see a video on that coming up shortly, and then I'll come back and uh, we'll talk about some more stuff from the show floor. Take the reading robot and strap it to the portable projector robot. Yeah, that would be a nice, like, sort of interactive storytelling experience for robots by robots. Yeah, I'm into that. They had a giant Mac. Who doesn't have Max? Yeah, it was, so it was a racing Mac. I don't know how that works. How does it work? Yeah. Because I really feel like, because it didn't look like the pilot's chamber was isolated well enough. No, if it could run, it would just like shoot to death. Rattle the, the meat conductor to yeah. pieces. Yeah. yeah. What a way to go, though. Yeah. Well, I'd, I'd rather fight some kaiju. Problem? Okay. <laughs> so, I, I don't want you judging me. I know, yeah. I, I have to, I have to do this. Okay. Oh, no, I, I waited too long. Okay, hold on. We gotta do the waiting for me. Yeah, yeah. Kill them before that. I don't know. I, I think I think it timed out on me. Hold on, I've got to... Okay, it's warming up. Warming up. Wait a second. Doing it for Yeah, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a legit breathalyzer. It's got all the equipment. But it has to warm up. I didn't know it has to warm up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Fisher was that. Yeah, so Fisher wasn't a normal food away. All right, it's, it's calculating. Okay. Two drinks. I weigh 170 pounds. And I waited 20 minutes after my second drink. 0.018. What's the legal again? Uh, is it 0.08? Oh, yeah, so so I've got plenty of room. Yeah. And remember folks, make good choices.
right, and home again, home again, back to the Monte Carlo. This was a really fun night. Again, getting to hang out with some of my best friends in this uh, YouTube space, in this gadget and technology space. Now, they're colleagues of mine, but we only get to see each other at these trade shows. I'm a little more intoxicated than I would normally be in putting myself on camera. But again, uh, a large part of this evening was actually spent on uh, producing a review. So again, checking out this uh, little keychain breathalyzer meant that I had to imbibe a little bit more than I normally would have. As always, uh, if you're going to partake of mind-altering substances, please do so responsibly and with good people who can take care of you. Now, I'm gonna go up to my room and crash super hard. I've got an early day ahead of me tomorrow, my last day on the CES 2018 show floor. Uh, so actually, I've got some pretty cool stuff for you guys to check out tomorrow. And then after that, it'll be the wrap up and we'll see how well this whole mobile phone production experiment has succeeded or failed. Uh, as always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for all of my vlogs and all of my rants and some of this BTS coverage because I got some cool stuff coming up on the New Egg channels in Game Crate. Um, all of the stuff that we got to play with here at CES in Las Vegas. You can catch me around the web, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram. Instagram and the Facebook. If you do the Facebook, you should give me a follow there too. And I will catch you on the next video.